What's up, everybody? It's so much with the Mischievous Ninja here with a brand new game called The Fruit of Grisaya. This is a game that was highly recommended by a friend of mine who bought the other game for me, but he didn't buy this game. I got this game myself. Uh, so a friend of mine told me that it's a really good game and uh, it's very popular. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know the anime. I've never watched anything. I haven't even looked up any Wikipedias about the, the game. Uh, what I do know is this version of the game is for adults. So there's probably going to be some scenes in there that I'm going to have to censor out. So just know that going into this. And with all that being said, I can't think of anything else I need to say, so let's just get started on the game and see what kind of game it is. I've already gone through the configuration, and I've already set things up to, to where I think I'm going to like it. And so let's start. <laughs> Intense sunlight blazes down on the road as if to declare the arrival of summer. The burning asphalt radiates heat, mixing with the scent of the tide to form a thick, muggy atmosphere. Whether the weather's clear in summer like this, when the weather's clear in summer like this, you get guys who lose their heads in the heat. Sexual assaults, robberies, all the way up to homicides. I don't have time to list a variety of crimes committed by morons with fake brains. As a result, at times like these, the police inevitably get very wary about the suspicious sites. It was about 10 minutes ago that I realized I'd been mistaken for one of those heart heat stroke adult sorts. <laughs> Sweat pouring from his forehead as he examined my license. The police in front of me face a glance at the large backpack he's carrying and continues to the background. Yes. I told you this 10 minutes ago. I moved it. This luggage is everything I own. That guy said I don't have one yet. The answer is not going to change no matter how many times you ask. Yeah, that's what you said. Where did you come from? Where are you going? What are you planning to do here? Depending on the context, these could be fairly philosophical questions. As far as the police goes, they're pretty run of the mill. From their perspective, anyone wandering around without clear cut business is by default a criminal of some sort. Let alone someone like me carrying around a conspicuously bulky luggage. It's as good as guaranteed that they'd stop me. That is their job, I suppose. Since this little scene acts as a crime deterrent, though it's to its visibility. It's not an entirely wasted effort. But unfortunately, I don't have all the tools to play on. I don't glance toward the digital watch I'm wearing around my wrist. Sorry. But I'm keeping someone waiting. I really can't spare any more time for hanging out with board cops. A board police force has proved that the city's a beast. Take it as a compliment. Can I skip on vacation offense? At my tone, the policeman clicks his tongue in irritation and tosses my license back. じゃあ、アダミさん? I refuse. どうして? 何か見られたくないものでも入ってるの? 刃物とか? I don't rely on blades. Oh, I see my... Look, are you really telling me to unpack all of this on the spot? It'll take an hour at least. 30 minutes just to take it all out. 30 minutes to put the stuff back in. じゃあ、立ち話もなんだし。警察署に行こうか。冷たいお茶ぐらい出すからさ。そこでゆっくりお話を聞かせてよ。I just told you I don't have the time. I can't accept voluntary questions. I know you can't just back down in this situation. But if I say I'll head over there myself later, we'll be wrapped this up for now. As I've explained, I'm in the middle of a move. I've vacated my old place, so I don't have an address. 
じゃあご両親の住んでいる実家の住所だまさか両親もホームレスだとは言うまい I don't have any parents. No siblings or relatives either. They're all dead. Hontoni? Yapari, Nanika Kakusten, and I know. This is going nowhere. Case at Soma de Kitikriba. Mudana Mondo, Sinak de Simunda, get on it. Ima Potoka Yukara. Scotty, Matt de Gribu. Then at least call the person I'm supposed to be meeting. At this rate, they'll be waiting all day. So they are come on, I do. I do that. What about the tea? Am I gonna tell you that? Yena yona, I tena noka. It's your mother. We had an appointment at a hotel tonight. Huh? I was keeping quiet out of the goodness of my heart. You dragged it out of me, so don't blame me when your parents get divorced and your happy home is shattered. Bakani stay in the About 30 meters away from where we're talking, someone screams. A desperate cry follows within seconds. A woman sits collapsed on the street, stretching out her hand. Her high heels lie on the ground, knocked off her feet by the sudden fall. Just about halfway between us, there's a man in a flashy Hawaiian shirt running in this direction. Although the thief flinches for a moment at the sight of the policeman's uniform, after a quick check for any convenient side street, he barrels on Brandishing the stolen bag menacingly, his hand violently gestures out of my way. The cop is completely flustered. He's quite clearly unaccustomed to this sort of situation. While he's panicking, the distance between us and the thief shrinks with surprising swiftness. The man runs in a straight line toward a breakthrough to the street. I happen to be standing directly in the middle of his bag. As he prepares to strike me with the bag, I ascertain the movement of his shoulder and arm from the first signs of motion, and hit his wrist sharply just as he begins to swing. The man's arm instantly stiffens and loses all momentum. His eyes pop wide open in shock. I immediately grab the collar of the Hawaiian shirt he's wearing and firmly draw him from the me. Before the man can offer a resistance to my pull, I smoothly reverse and use my body weight to shove against him. When pushed just as they've begun to brace themselves against being pulled, anyone except a genuine expert is going to be thrown off balance. Nice shirt! Where'd you buy it? Shock spreads across the man's face as his knees buckle against his will. I try to gain a chokehold using my grip on the neck of the shirt, but the man promptly draws his head back and shifts his body to the side, preventing me from landing a hold on his neck. Although I expected as much from a glance at his build, it seems like he's somewhat experienced in judo. But... Well, in this case. You would have been better off trying a decisive tackle. No chitting around it, the purse snatcher. In the opposite direction of the slide, I yank his right arm upward with both, with both hands. In one movement, I circle to his back. <laughs> Next, pull back on the opponent's wrist and elbow and pin him to the ground. This is just basic a Aikido, right, by the way. Hey now, you got your priorities all wrong. Before it ain't about me. You should kill the guy who sold you that shirt. Perhaps <laughs> unconsciously, the man's now empty. The left hand desperately slaps at the asphalt. While holding the feet thin, I quickly shoot a look behind me. Don't just stand there! Uh The policeman jerks up straight in response to my angry shout. Taking a pair of handcuffs from the pouch around his waist, he runs over to restrain the criminal. The first snatcher seems to have resigned himself to his face. He doesn't offer any pointless resistance. He accepts his right hand in the breast, or steps docilely. 
and sits quietly on the ground with his head hung as the policeman radios for backup. Apparently they weren't far off, as the siren approaches in no time. Two policemen get out of the arriving cruiser and push the criminal into the back seat. As I'm quietly watching the scene in perfect passivity, the policeman from earlier runs over. <laughs> I'll pass on the letter of thanks. So how about letting me go now? So I'm going to go now. 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 I figured as much. Shaking my head in his aspiration, I silently rebuke myself. Should have just let that alone. As the policeman pushes at my back, a glance at my wristwatch informs me that I'm 45 minutes late for my meeting. Nah, you don't want to talk to me yet. 30 minutes have passed since I was brought to the interrogation room. The mayor asked the place for criminals break to do flop sweat and TV journals. Chief Bolivar pipe chair, my arms folded in perfect silence. So yet the damn thing, yeah. Even when I touch them, I can't leave. So, who's going to match us? 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 I've got a pretty fair idea of what he'll be doing next. The sound of something being struck, an even louder attempt at intimidation. This is the point where a timid guy would be jumping in his seat with his eyes wide open, or maybe staring at the floor in front of him. As for me, my eyes are still shut and my arms still folded quietly. My mind is totally blank. I've been accustomed to adults shouting at me like this since I was a child. While I'm in the threat stage, the next step would be for him to grip my hair and jolt me back and forth. But I'm dealing with an official authority group here. I should get out for that direct violence this time. Not to say that they won't pull out the old TV cliches and harass me by shining a desk lamp in my eyes or something of the sort. I can roughly translate the detective's sigh. Game kids these days. I gently open my eyes in order to sneak a look at his disgusted face. The detective sitting in front of me seems to be challenging the Guinness World Record for the most dramatic asymmetry between the left and right sides of his mouth. Or maybe he's just scowling. When I let out a sort of laughter in response to the unexpectedly pleasant sight, the detective scratches his head violently and glares at me. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know he won't gain you anything, and he won't lose anything either, except your time. I turn my gaze to the clock on the wall of the sweat box. An hour has already passed since the scheduled time for my meeting. The detective strikes the desk with excellent comic timing. The best part is the way he knocks his mystery off the table every time he does this. His tone distinctly fell up. He stoops down to pick the plastic tray on the floor. Kazumi Yuji. Occupation. Student.山梨から来たんだろ。過去の犯罪歴はなし。歩道歴も交通違反もなし。何かを表彰されるようなこともなし。ここまで綺麗な賞罰なしってのは変だろ。まるで誰かが細工した店に真っ白なんだよ、お前
talk about hard to please. Our capricious detective scowls at his hand and scratches his head. A place of dandruff drips grandly through the air. Based on his thoroughly wrinkled suit and heavy stubble, I'd say he hasn't been home in days. Nah, 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 nah. Another side. It's enough to make me want to eat one myself. Because we both take our work seriously, it seems like we're stuck going in circles. Let's just Just as we roughly complete this exchange of one-sided bitterness and mutual glaring, there's a well-timed knock at the door, and the sound of it being unlocked. Hi. Ah, a slightly plump elderly detective enters the room. Given the respectful tone of the detective I've been chatting with, he's probably a superior of some sort. Eh. Hi. Eh. After a quick glance in my direction, the elderly detective whispers something into the young man's ear. Before long, the other detective towards were towards me with a decidedly nonplussed expression. Why now, all of a sudden? With those parting words, the young detective leaves the room. The elderly detective watches him go and then faces me with a greasy smile. いやあ、すみませんでしたね、風見さん。こちらに連絡がいっていなかったようで、先ほど伊予やとあなたの身元保証人の方と連絡が取れた次第でして。The you got here from the start. Wouldn't you throw me in jail, strip me naked, and spray me down with the hose? Masaka Masaka Gojo Dango, which you are Tenkano Sakura Dong this yo. Just let you know, I'm nothing but a student. My work at Ichigaya is only a part time cleaning job. Soji, Soji Deska. In response to my words, the detective twists his mouth into something vaguely resembling a smile. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Sarcasm drifting from every pore of his body, the detective treats me with transparently insincere courtesy. He's perfectly civil on a superficial level, but the atmosphere in here is growing increasingly unpleasant. The younger de detective from before, hard that he was, seems infinitely preferable. Did you inquire to Ichigaya about me? あなたのお名前をデータベースで検索させたんですがね。検索しているサイチに電話が鳴りまして、受話器を上げてみたら防衛省の特別の機関からのお電話でして、うちの犬がそちらで保護されていないかと聞きましてね。いや、驚きました
Where's my backpack? You're not getting funds from public taxes in order to chauffeur bums like me around, are you? I'll walk. Now, friend urged out by the door by the old man, the young detective appears from the rear, carrying the backpack to take it from the road. Bit of a tough question. I guess you could say my life. It wasn't really what I was going for. Dropping the backpack next to me, the detective looks out of what slight side. Thanks for liking it out here. Pretty heavy, isn't it? True. Guess that's natural for a policeman. Sorry. I just think it's my friend. I'm wearing the school uniform. You can see at a glance. Clasp my shoulder as we pass each other. With those parting words, he heads back into the police station. Guess I don't make a convincing student yet. I'm wearing deep blue slacks and a short sleeve dress shirt, as well as a dark red and yellow striped necktie. Excluding my somewhat longer hair, I should be a very image of a student. I guess it's a little difficult turning into something like that all of a sudden. It's probably precisely because this is difficult that I decided to go to try. For a while, I myself didn't understand why I didn't ask to, to do this, but now I think I have a fake grasp on the reason. I wanted to become something that I couldn't understand, something that I wasn't. At that moment, I've done nothing but smooth down my edges a bit. Perhaps later on, I'll become a student on the inside as well. The sun that had been climbing up earlier has now finally reached its peak for Venice. The temperature keeps on rising and sweat oozes from my skin. I'm pretty sure he picked me up, but... Sensing the presence, I lowered my gaze from the sun. My eyes, while accustomed to high contrast lighting, project the human form and silhouette for only the brief best of moments before the details fade in. A woman raising an awkward salute, grinning broadly, stands before my eyes. Spare me! I want to see blows like that outside the workplace. In the first place, what's with that dopey salute? I feel the bikinis on the Maritime SDF recruitment posters have more press form. I don't recall contributing enough to society today to deserve my any appreciation. She opens the door of the car stop next to her. Yeah, true enough. From Mishima Cape Police Station to National Highway 133, southbound, we proceed to the Perfectional Highway and advance further up toward the Cape. A range of slowly rotating wind turbines come into view, indicating our proximity to the sea. <laughs> I doubt you really thought I would say. You're trying you're trying the police stations first, not the hospitals. Accuracy and weather forecasts and interpersonal communications make society run smoother. Counting against you continues to fill up. 
ここにだって本数は少ないけど電車は通ってるんだからそれで来ればよかったのに歩いてきちゃうんだもんそれも聞いてびっくりしたのよヒマラヤにでも登るような大荷物背負ってるって Sorry. I hate trains. だからって歩いてくるなんて常識外れよどうしたの黙っちゃって Could you not mention this to the other students? I don't want them getting any funny ideas about me from the get-go. In na no ga kita te keikai sareru ka mo ne. Tashikani. I got enough of that from the police last me a while. Haha. Yappari shoku shizuke te da no ne. Hai, tsuita wa? Koko yo? The car proceeded about 500 meters long to an area of her planned coastal land before she brought it to a stop. So that's what he meant by landfill, I see. I've been recalling the words of the detective from before. The woman continues her conversation with a suddenly cheerful tone. Very nice. Barely even looks like a school. Although I'd heard it was a new school, its external appearance generally isn't what I'd expected. A three story building. The pure white collar of the outer walls is the only typical school like element, with every other aspect more closely resembling a city office building. The gates to the right and left are less provocative of a school gate than a functional fence in some facilities. The mounted signboard, likewise, is a yellow. Utilitarian thing printed in a simple typeface, rather than the hand-drawn work of a calligraphy. これからここがあなたの母校になるのよ。感慨深くない ？I'm only just arrived at this place. If I said I was so deeply moved by the sight, I'd be a lie. 味もそっけもない。人間想像力が大事なのよ。With an exaggerated sigh, she opens her hands wide in the overblown gesture of a third-rate actor. Normal. Could you define that term? Is there a class where we chase each other around brandishing insects? It's different. I don't think it is. But it's nice to see it's a lively school. Having apparently forgotten what she was planning to do with her outspread hands, she totters to the school gate. Her office is positioned quite near the school building's front entrance. The furniture is nicely arranged based on an old fashioned desk and chair. In contrast to the incongruity of the building's external appearance, this is a textbook example of the old fashioned principal's office. 
そこ座って On the genuine leather sofa that's one of the room's more prominent furnishings. After waiting for me to settle myself, she lowers herself into the seat across from me. Gakuen Chou no Tachibana Chizuru des. Yokoso, Mihama Gakuen. Hat, so it to more. Oh, it's a shibrine. No more ga i kachira, Asami kun. On a practical level, nice to meet you might be a better option. Sukka. With a slight, amused smile, Principal Tachibana takes out a pamphlet. Ah, I'm not a noko to the car. I'm more guy. You're a stir to a more kiddo. It's you said to me was to go. She puts past a couple of pages on the brochure. I had noticed for the females are lightly polished. Coco a gakko hojin sakaki gakuen no unae suru shigaku no gakuen de. 全国から選ばれた学生たちを集めて日々勉学に励んでいるの榊学園の母体は関東一円に私鉄網を持つ東浜急行電鉄グループその資金力を持って最高の設備と教職員を揃えているわまず So, I'm going to tell you about the first time in the room of the home room. So, I'm going to tell you about the first time in the room of the home room. The fingers came to a stop. Bringing their hands gently together, the principal raises her gaze from the pamphlet and his plans. Yes. You're the same as your dream. I think it's a great place to live in a normal home room. I think it's a great place to live. I have a few questions. Please. First, today is a weekday, but there was barely anyone on the school grounds. What's going on? Shousu sei na no yo. Gakusei su wa anata wo irete roku nin dake na no. Only six. So yo. The elite few. Eh. That include our friends with the kakeda just now. Mochiro. Question two. Where am I living today from on from now on? Oh, so that's where you go to school. A dormitory, is it? If you say it, it's enough to have a room with a good size. In that case, not a problem. That's it. Before we finish, one last thing. Yes, please. This last question only, I stare directly into her eyes. I need to confirm the principal's intention for bringing me here. After all said and done, is this a normal school? <laughs> the principal closes up. After a moment of silence, she opens it again. <laughs> I told her I'm convinced that she isn't lying to me, she's further some hidden self interest. あなたがあの時に言った希望、ちゃんと覚えているわよ。普通の学園に入って、普通の学生生活が送りたい。The on-camera dormitory, the high walls surrounding it all, they clearly indicate abnormality. But, you know, I think you know, but if you think about it, there was no place to be here. I think I know the answer to that. I guess you're right. I'm not sure that this is a normal school school. 
なたもここで普通に過ごしてくれればいいわ何かしてほしいとか私から言うことはありませんそれじゃ寮の方へ案内するわここが学生寮よ管理室も含めると部屋数は全部で11各部屋ごとにお風呂とトイレとキッチンが備え付けられてるから生活の心配はないわ家具も一通り揃ってるしね何キョロキョロしてるの The computer pair from earlier don't seem to be around. Ah, Suo san to Iris san no koto ne. Futari tomo mada gakue ni nokote iru no kamo ne. Komine san mo inai yo da si. That Komine guy is still here too? Ah, sono ko ni ryo no annai o tanonde i tan da kedo. Sugata ga mie nai kara. So you don't have a minute to. Grasp on the movements of the students. I see. Oh, so you don't have an, a minute grasp on the movements of the students. I see. But this is a hora. Tanner got grand so the car. Nearly of it. Just a matine. Here I need to know. Come on, she didn't like her. This belongs towards the interior of the building. Left by myself, I stare vacantly at a cup of the ceiling. Soon I'm unconsciously falling into my habit of counting the number of visible sprinklers and roughly estimating the seal of the building. Calculating the time needed to gain control of the front entrance and ascertaining the location of the emergency exits. Hmm. Not that many sport colors are there. Guess that's why the ceiling is a bit low. Ano? Ano? Having grown absorbed in analyzing the building, I don't even notice that it's hugged on my sleeve. Until the final excuse me of many finally catches my name. I drop my gaze in the direction of the boys, and then a girl in the house made clothes looking up at me. Not that she's up. それとも不審者さんでしょうか。No one's gonna admit they're an intruder if you ask them point blank. あ、そういえばそうですね。目から鱗です。The maid nods several times, slowly closes her eyes, and begins to repeat my words. 不審者かと尋ねられて不審者だと答えるやつはいない。Flexible thinking isn't your strong suit, clearly. Hi. Never mind. So what does what does the maid want with me? Um. ですから、私はあなたが怪しい人かどうかを確認しています。それはおめでとうございます。それで、あなたは不審者さんではない人なんでしょうか。ああ、ごめんなさい。ちょうどよかった。こちらが今度転入することになった風見くんよ。At this point, having noticed our voices, the principal called out to the girl. It seems this maid was Komine all along. やっぱりあなたが転入生さんだったんですね。I'm Kazami Yuji. Good to meet you. はい、こちらこそよろし。I don't think you introduced yourself yet. Oh, sorry. My name is Sachi. Thank you very much. This time it's nothing but the first day. Hmm. I had this thought earlier with the other two, but you certainly gathered some unique elites here. 
学生の個性を伸ばすのが学園の役目だから Which would mean that she is a student too? 小峰さんはこの学園の1年生よあなたには小峰さんが教壇に立つような年に見えた That's not really my point of confusion here. Our uniform creates certain preconceptions. For example, if I see a girl wearing funny ears in a bar, I don't ask what she's done with her Bible. Hmm. Komine san wa fudan kara meido fuku de iru koto ga oi kara. That's not an explanation. Hmm. Tashka ni so ne. Sure jaa, Komine san. Setsume shite agete. Wakari mashita. Etto. 私はクラス委員を任されている関係でよく先生方のお手伝いや雑用をお願いされることが多いのですがなんだかメイドさんみたいだねという話からちょっとメイド服着てみなよと促され実際着てみたらやっぱり似合うからなるべく普段から着た方がいいよと提案されたのでなるべく普段からメイド服を着るように心がけています。I see. You're、uh, a devoted one. That fallen bunny girl sister could learn a thing or two from you. Hi. Arigato gozaimas. I wasn't really intending that to be a compliment. There's no point in telling her that. Ja, koko kara wa kanojo ni annai shite moratte. Sono hou ga hanashi mo dekite ii desho. No objections. Sure, ja, Komine san. Ato wa onegai ne. わかりましたそれではまず1階から案内していきますね yeah, あなたのことを何とお呼びしたらいいのか聞き忘れていましたすみません、well, you can call me you want. <笑>それでしたらゆうくんと呼ばせていただいてもよろしいでしょうか We've gotten pretty familiar all of a sudden. では風見さんというのはいかがでしょう、sure. anyway, I'll call you Sachi. Sachi. Not bad. Would Sachi be better? いいえ、サチで構いませんよ。So. Right, Sachi. Test her guards and all that. Hi. Judging from the smile, it seems she doesn't dislike being called Sachi. So, let's go to the next one. 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 In other words, she wants me to play the prison guard. Or、well, at the very least, three out of six students living in this dorm are prison guards. It would always be prudent to have the room as far as possible from theirs to avoid potential problems. Mind if I take a look inside? Hi. Korega Hea no Kaki des. Dozo. Let me open the door with the keys she has for me. この寮のすべての部屋には火災報知器が一つと二つのスプリンクラーが設置されています。Got it. She seems to have guessed my thoughts from the direction of my gaze. そこは一畳半ほどのウォークインクローゼットになっていると聞いています。
Luigi. Looks like there won't be any problem. Is someone using this room before I came? The water's pretty clear, considering. まあ、建物自体新しいですし、風見さんがいらっしゃる前はこの部屋を倉庫代わりに使用することもあったので、その時に誰かが水道を使っていたのかもしれません。私も時々お掃除の時にバケツの水を汲むために使っていましたから。Let's see. What's Mr. Fawcett to stop the water and drop the luggage I've been carrying on the spot and drop the luggage away? So, the room that I went to the door is the place for everyone to join. The standard student dorm community space, is it? Yes. Maki-chan and Amane-san are often here to be here. That's so... Those things before, it must be understood. And then, Kazami's room is a boiler. The door is a door. The door is a door. And the door is a door. 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 I heard there are 11 rooms in total. Any reason why you picked on on the first floor? That's because my name is Sachi. If you're Sachi, you're a door. That's right. I get the idea. Kokoga Nikai des Nikaiwa Kihontekini Hea no Mino Kozo to Natte, Watashiga in the Gakse Sanwa, Zain Konokai ni Sundeimas. Which would mean two of these are vacant. Hi, Nana Ghost to Kyu Ghost to Genzai Akibea ni Natteimas. Sankaiwa Kono Dai Yokujo or Hajimetosta, Sento Tekina Kozo ni Natteimas.階段の反対側には公園ランドリーや物干しスペースもあるので必要な時に利用してくださいもし洗濯自体が苦手なようでしたら私に言っていただければ代行しますのでもし洗濯自体が苦手なようでしたら私に言っていただければ代行しますので
位に上から82583です At the moment, is there any specific man that you're going out with? いません。Your experience with men today? ありません。I know I'm the one who asked you those questions, but answering them so politely, would that also be because you're in the class representative? Class in a mina no yakuni tate koso no class in this kara. What an admirable devotion to customer service. Arigato gozaimas. Hoka ni shitsumon wa arimas ka? Nothing comes to mind. Wakarimashita. Moshi, hoka ni kikitai koto ga dekita ra. 部屋にある内線電話で3番を押してください。私の部屋につながるので。あれそれでは私はこれで失礼しますね。Well, like、あ、サチ。はい。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、After Sachi's tour ended, I took another look around the interior of the building on my own. By the time I returned to my room, the sun was already low in the sky and light growing dim. I should probably put this stuff away before it gets dark. Hoping by that time, I pull out the contents and begin to put them away on the shelf that I'm provided with. It's a real help that I got a closet. Things I can leave in usable space, place, and things to be stored away in the back. Dividing my possessions between the two, the latter are clearly more numerous. Normal, huh? While looking over my mountain of luggage, I mutter in self deprecating tone. As I mark the sun, s a r c h t h e s e shores of the sea. With that, I'm going to save the game and I will conclude this episode right here. And my thoughts are hmm, I'm guessing based on the character, the main character of this. That he is some kind of secret agent or some kind of ex police officer or something like that, or somebody in the government, maybe, who is like really talented in some way or form based on the judo display that he did at the beginning. And I'm guessing that he is very well appreciated by. Whoever is responsible for getting him into this private school, which doesn't really look like a school, but more like a housing for other people like him. And since he made that comment about the water being clear, makes me think he's got excellent detective abilities as well. He has a, an ability to notice things that other people would not notice. Other than that, I have nothing else to, to say about it. I, I have no real、uh, opinion of it so far because I haven't seen anything interesting. This is probably still the prologue. And、uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next time、uh, on the next video. Seems like he's jogging around sometime. At, oh, he's jogging around at 4 45 a.m. Thanks for watching.